Bootsy Roundabout has had a serious facelift. No, scratch that. This was reconstructive surgery of national proportions. This is literally Zimbabwe's first interchange road, and it allegedly cost a whooping 88 million US dollars to construct. The project involved over 1,000 workers, built a total of 15 bridges, and used a staggering amount of cement, not to mention other major inputs like steel, asphalt, fuel, massive cranes, earth movers, and all the high-tech equipment needed to pull off a project of this scale, especially for first-timers like Zimbabwe. There were many hiccups along the way. Some structures of the interchange rise up to 18 meters, towering over where goats once roamed freely at the old Mbudzi roundabout, a name that literally meant goat roundabout. That was quite fitting, wasn't it? You've got to love Zimbabweans and their gift for literal names. And yes, only in Zimbabwe do we spend millions building a new road and name it after a wartime alias. The official name of the new interchange, Trabablas. Yes, you heard that right. Apparently, it's a nod to President Emerson Mnangagwa's liberation struggle nickname. Now I'm no expert in road naming, so on that part, no comment. Well, maybe it's symbolic, or actually important, lest we forget our history, right? In terms of impact, though, if you've ever waited three hours at Mbudzi trying to get into Harare from South Africa, this is big. For daily commuters from Chitungwiza, Glenview, Budiriro, and many other surrounding residential areas, this is a game changer. Zimbabweans who have never stepped foot outside the country are finally seeing something they use to only glimpse on foreign documentaries. It's kind of sad how many are flocking there just to take pictures. But they are thrilled. Truly thrilled. And that's all that matters, like, hey, you got to start from somewhere, right? I guess this is what building the country brick by brick looks like. Here at Zimbo Spirited, we celebrate when it's due. We criticize when it's deserved and we stay watching as Zimbabwe continues to transform one roundabout at a time. So, Sadza Eaters, what do you think of this new development? Let us know in the comments section down below.